How's everybody doing? Where's everybody watching from? Haven't seen me do a live in a long time, right? I'm gonna cap with some clear just so I don't move this glitter around a little bit. I like the frosted look, just a tiny bit of clear, okay? I'll do my design fingers first. I like to do my design fingers first sometimes. Gets it out of the way, so when the ones I have to do solid, I'll do solid. So, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm gonna do a marbling over that. And also an ombre. I'm gonna leave this like this. I'm gonna marble up a little bit more and then I'm gonna ombre it down. Of course I have to cap this. I just totally just came up with this like <laughs> on the fly here. She says she wanted a freestyle, so I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> Where is that at? Where's that one that I said that looks good? Here it is. I'm gonna ombre this down with a nice nude here. A few of these fingers are gonna be this nude here. Give me kind of like a new ombre. Gotta be careful, I don't want to cover too much of my marble. I want to just kind of show my marble through a little bit. I definitely will cap this later. Or I'll just cap it now. careful working with this clear here make sure everything's structured just because I'm capping doesn't mean I can't have a structure at the nail So I'm gonna do a little bit of structure here, my apex area. Make sure my nail is, whenever you do an encapsulation, you gotta make sure that you use the clear to your advantage. Do everything as, clear, as, as uh, short as possible, but use your clear to build your foundation, your apex, or anything you're missing so that you have a bit of structure there. Don't try to do everything so thick, because you do everything so thick, What's gonna happen is everything's gonna add the thickness. That's why I did everything clear uh, more thin. It's gonna be this time. I got a lot of, to do with this later. I'm gonna need some gel designs on this too. A little bit three tones. A 
Okay, let's do these two fingers nude. Actually, I like these two fingers blue, actually. This is a very nice buttery powder, so with my Mon Marie, you can actually play with it a little bit. These are two, two stiletto nails here. Ooh, my studio is warm. Hot is drying up too fast. Hold on. Anybody available? It's hot in here, isn't it? Stuffy. You see, I can tell exactly if my studio has a different temperature than I usually have it. it the powder will let you know right away. I'm using the same ratio and the same, you know, this powder I've used a dozen times. So this powder is pigmented, it won't marble. The new formulated um, wave gel powder. Um, you don't have to worry about capping it either, okay? Because it's a core powder. It doesn't need to be capped with a clear. God, this blue is so nice. You have a royal blue dress or something to wear with this. Oof. I always use my my brush. I gotta, I gotta tell them to turn on the AC a little bit. The AC is turned off right now. Uh, Anna. Myself a little structure here. I have to definitely have to hand file this a lot later because my studio is a little bit warm. Anytime your studio is about, anytime where your working area is about a, a, a one degree lower or two degree lower than what you're usually working with, it changes everything. So that's all. With the stilettos, I sometimes like do that. Give it a nice pointed. Because you can't really pinch off with your brush when it comes to stiletto, can you? So I like to just use my fingers just to pinch off so I get that nice point. See that, how sharp that is? And then I'll hand file it in. Okay, remember, I gotta work a little faster since this part. Oh my goodness, I gotta turn the AC on. The temperature difference is killing me. This temperature difference is killing me. Hold on one second, guys. I need to turn this AC on. <clears throat> That's what I thought. My AC is down. I had to call the maintenance people come out. I just knew it. So, in this situation, what do we do? We increase our liquid to powder ratio and we work quicker. That's it. That's all we can do. As you can see, this show just. Wow.
No, the AC is down. I'm definitely going to do some hand filing later, guys. So I'm working a little more smaller beads here. Okay. So for these fing this finger, I'm going to do a nude. I'm gonna stay with the blue actually. No, nude. I'm a little bit obsessive with nudes. So I wanna do a nice gel marbling here using this blue. Quicker now because it's a little bit hot in the room. We're, we're I'm working at 76 degrees right now, guys. That's very hot. I'm usually working at 72, so that's a six degree, like almost four degree difference, and it really makes a difference in how the monomer works. For a lot of you guys that work from home, you run that situation. Um, people ask me all the time, you know, why is my click trying not too fast, too you know, too slow? If it's too cold. So it's very important that your actual um, room temperature is proper. Seventy-one to seventy-three is my ideal temperature. This would be a nightmare for a lot of nail techs that are brand new, if your room temperature is different. Mm. I struggle with acrylic in the cube area. I feel like it's not as easy to work with as nudes. Color acrylic. It should be the same, to be honest with you. Um, given for me right now is because my freaking studio is like an oven. But color acrylic is the same as nudes. You just got to make sure you work with it. Um, You know what it is? I am using the older formula from wave gel. So this older formula probably dries up faster. If you guys are purchasing this at wavegelshop.com, you guys won't be having this consistency. It'll be more buttery. Um, for me, this is an older formula when they first sent to me. So yeah, see color quick in the cuticle area. You lot of guys probably have issues because you guys probably flood it or get too much of it on there. Just remember to nudge the powder up lightly, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you have to cap, just cap. One of the majority of the issues, a lot of people have issues with working with color quickly because they get it all over the cuticle area. So it's like kind of bleeding in and or you guys over drill it later on. And what that, what that does is it causes you to have um, gaps between your cuticle and your color because the color will show up more than the nude. All right. So you just gotta be careful not to over drill. I see a lot of people, you know, over file and then they move too much color and then you see that big gap. That's one set laid. I'm just gonna put a little more clear on here though. Hmm. So right here the tip I'm missing a little bit here. I'm gonna blend it up so it has some visibility. Later on I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use pixie beads on this one. It's gonna look really cute with the 
frosty coming through and also caviar beads right in this area here where it's gonna be nice and icy. This summer we'll give her an icy set. See that finger? Which what direction did it? Is it a finger? Middle finger? Okay, I did it that direction. So when I do marbling, I'll do the opposite direction. So this one, I'll do the same thing. I like to apply my glitter first. I want, I don't want to cover it completely. I want like a see-through frosty look like that. Okay. Heat up. little simple powder marbling I like yeah, so a lot of people use uh, they do powder marbling and um, they don't use enough um, what should we call it they don't use enough I'm gonna actually put some clear over this and cap but they don't use enough what should we call it um white if you're ever doing powder marbling you have to use somewhat some white okay because the white will separate the the colors if you guys use too much of the color the white's just gonna get muted in there and it's not gonna look good I'm gonna cap that real quick before I ombre. And I'll, I'll come back to it. I'll use my, do my other fingers first. And these sets are fairly easy and very fast because we're doing a lot of the designs with the powder. So you don't have to actually worry about a lot of things. I gotta work a little bit quicker because I know that my room is a little bit warmer. Majority of your timing should be in your powder work here. So when you're done, we're just gonna be able to hand file, shape, do the cuticle work, and we should be finished, you know? Um, no really, have, you don't have to polish. Well, actually for this design, I'm actually gonna do some polish work also, but won't be that much. We just like my finishing touches, I don't have to actually polish or anything like that. Give us a little bit more structure here. This blue is so nice though, like so deep. A lot of blues I see, it's like kind of, because they have to mix white with blue. It loses, it's kind of like a pigment look. So I really like vibrant blues like this. Some blues I use, when I use the monomer, it'll separate um, from the color that they mix it with, so like a white or something like that. And it, that gets really annoying with me. I don't like that at all. So I like very vibrant blues that stays. It's just how the company mixes it, I guess. And the way Joe did a good job with the no marbling. See, when I use the monomer, it doesn't marble at all. I guys are blessed because back then when companies first started coming out with acrylic powder, I don't know if you guys remember, but like pretty much every color with marble, it took them a lot of time to redo the formulas. So like guys didn't go through the phases where you, we dreaded using color powder. You guys, now you guys love it because these companies have perfected how to mix and formulate these powder. Back in the day, oof, you, a customer asked for a neon color powder or you have to use one, you had to go through a lot of work just to get to to work well for you. Hello, Carol, how are you? Okay, now we're gonna ombre this.
Sometimes for a lot of you guys, that it's harder for you to get the marbling all the way to the cuticle area. It's ombre. It turned into a, a completely different design. It's ombre. You still have some of the, the marbling show through. But you need ombre. Of course, we're going to do this one nude, like the other one. Oh my god, the AC is running here. Finally. You guys know what colors make nude? It's actually mixed with a blue. Nude actually has a blue tint dye into it. A lot of you guys, you don't know the color wheel, color chart. Check the color wheel, the color chart. You'll see how colors are mixed, and you'll know what color goes well together. And what so that's also important when you do powder marbling too. A lot of you guys are powder marbling colors that don't go well together. When they mix, they make a weird color. Yeah, be careful with that. Feel the air coming in, thank god. Yeah, AC starts running right after I'm fin almost finished application. Thanks a lot. Let's give it a little more structure here. I still gotta notch it up. If you notice your uh, acrylic getting a little sticky, there's a few things that can be the cause of that. One, of course, my temperature, my room is really hot. Two, if you take a look at my monomer, it's getting kind of dingy and murky, right? It means it's getting contaminated. There's contamination with the um, pigment going in, or acrylic going into the monomer. That's why your monomer can get a little bit sticky. So if you were like, you know, halfway down your set, I recommend throwing out that monomer. But since I got one finger left, I'm just gonna make it work for me. And I, I don't have to do that, okay? So I got the thumb left, so I'm just gonna use the rest of this monomer up as best as I can. Of course, I won't be able to pick up as big as a bead, but I just work slower. You don't have to, always have to do multi, like you know, two beading, especially in this situation where my ratio is a little bit off. I mean, my temp room temperature is a little bit off. So as a nail text, we gotta make that, our adjustments. I change the way I do nails based on my environment. For a lot of people, they'll probably they'll probably like give up at this point. Imagine if your AC broke in your studio or your home and you had a full set and your house is like 80 degrees. No, thank you, right? Especially if you live in Florida. But there are always around it. Increase the ratio, work smaller beads. And just get to the application process and then you'll be able to soldier through, I would say. Apex there. And there we go. It's pretty nice right there. Woo! And I've got one thing. Of course, I definitely have to use a new monomer for this though, because I have to actually cap. Let me put away these, these colors real quick. Oh, wrong one. I have to cap that finger. The one I did encapsulation with. <clears throat> so I'm gonna clean up this monomer. There's no way I'm gonna use a clear into this blue tinted monomer. That's what happens when you use bright colors. It's not, there's no avoiding that, okay? I'll be using this again later too. Give myself a little bit more of my E. Just enough for me to cap and clean my brush with. This one is the one I need to, to cap here. Should I see that? 
So I used that monomer earlier. It would actually tint it blue, and I don't want that. It's heating up. Yeah, sorry, the room is hot, so. Careful, I'm gonna actually sculpt this out to make this more square, I mean more boxy, because this is a stiletto tip, so the tip can be a little bit more sharp and stagger. Actually, we had a class that the AC went down in the venue, oh my goodness. That was not fun. This seems like I'm capping the whole nail, but I'm actually just pulling the powder through. I don't wanna make it too thick. Application, even with my struggling, I should have been under 30 minutes there. Clean your brush is very important, guys, especially when you work with clear. I can see that. This is acrylic stuck in there. You, you don't have to pull on it. You can just nudge it forward. See that? The acrylic will come out. If you don't do this, what's going to happen is it's going to dry up on your brush. And you're, next time you use it, it's going to be having acrylic stuck into it. My rule of thumb is I always try to feather through with my fingers and I feel it, I nudge it out. I don't pull on to the, to the, the hair, okay? I will ruin your brush, but if you can slightly nudge it. Okay? And you just gotta feather through like this. And if you feel anything resisting, that means that there's acrylic in it. If you don't, then you mean there's no, there's no dry acrylic. You'll have some acrylic residue. This is really important for you guys to do this every time. Is properly maintain your brush. Your brush should last you over a year. See when you feather through. A good brush. My brushes are Kalinsky, so they're crimped. I crimped them myself, and there you go. And they'll stay like that. Clean all this out. With hand filing, or well, shaping and hand filing. So I'm gonna shape my acrylic a little bit. Have them soak your nails off. That's what I was asking. You want me to soak it? Yeah. I'm gonna be very careful with the stiletto because I don't want to go too crazy with it because stiletto is one of those, those shapes that will go one way or the other if you over over file it. And it's very easy to over file a stiletto. So you gotta make sure you just switch sides, check, see if it's still straight. I haven't struggled with application in so long. But I guess, I guess I did a pretty good job by room being 78 degrees. So bring it to a point from the inside out. We should be good. This one also. See how pointed this one is? Because I use my hand to swoop it out. There is some excess on here. How's Funny this stiletto is. Is it me or is it kind of blurry? Hmm. Hold on, guys. I don't know if it's blurry because of my video quality, but I feel like it's getting blurry for you guys. So the majority of my design is done with acrylic now. Later on, I gotta do my art when using gel polish and stuff on top later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be able to shape this in. Make my coffin. Sorry. So I definitely did, I did do a lot more work with the hand filer because I struggled with the application earlier. So you guys, usually you watch me do lives, I'm like, boom, 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 done. But so that I did struggle with the application a little bit earlier. I had to make up with it with a little bit more hand filing. Thấy gọi anh đi nãy xin nó bị hư. I hate living in Florida sometimes summertime. I'm telling you my AC goes down like every freaking two months. I don't know why, but it does. length. This is going to be such a cute set. Make sure everything's good. Too stiletto, too coffin. Good recovery. Of course, hand filing. Smooth out the surface beforehand. Let's work for me later when I use my drill bit. Anybody here from in the San Jose class? Thank you, Sharon. Watching from Kenya, I love. Thank you. I'm still in search of neon acrylic potters. Um, Wave Gel's got a lot. That glitter is just a. Uh, uh, you can probably get it, iridescent glitter or unicorn glitter. It's not that hard to find. You can find it on Amazon, actually. This will save you guys a lot of time with hand filing. Gets your shape, especially uh, stiletto. Hand filing with stilettos actually makes it really nice and sharp. I see a lot of stilettos aren't really stilettos. This is stiletto, guys. See how it's like curved? There's like a point, like a spear, half circle. If it's too flat and it doesn't have that curvature, it's it is weak. It breaks easily. nice and even and I'll hit it with the hand file later when you have an even surface even we have to bring down the bulk it's actually easier if you hand file first then drill later the drill if you're trying to break down bulk you're gonna put pressure into the drill it's a metal bit it's running really fast you might put too much pressure and actually do more harm than good Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Let's go that is. You just gotta go circular motion up and down. You wanna get up here more, you can actually do that too. This process should take you maybe 15, 20 minutes, no longer. Remember, we just have to use our e-file. We can't get in the cuticle area with this hand filer. One hand down, one more and two go. How's it feel to have your nails back? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same thing. Now it's literally just a repetition of the same thing over and over again, guys. Nothing changes. Everything remains the same. Same thing I do the other hand, I'll do this hand. Now you guys want to increase your speed, your timing. Well, all falls into this repetition. Everything you do should be more like with the same, same step process. Oh my God, the AC stops. Thấy AC nó hư à? Không chạy luôn. Nice. Rồi anh đi dùm đi. Check my length, cuticle to cuticle, make sure that all the nails are the same length. I think he's sometimes always gonna be the smaller finger, finger but you just gotta deal with that. We try to get as close as possible without look, making it look freakishly long. Thing. Well, we finally picked the location for our master class and we'll be announcing it this weekend Sunday night I think Sunday night we'll not announce it on live
And now, finish up these last two fingers. We're gonna use the e-file, finish up the cuticle work. Smooth down any thickness we want, and then we're done. And then we're gonna do the design portion. I'm gonna do some swirls with the blue. I'll do some uh, pixie designs with the um, bewilder gel. And also, I'm, I'm possibly gonna do um, gel marbling also with this blue. This blue I have matching. So this new finger, I'm gonna do the gel marbling. If you guys ever seen gel marbling, I'll show you guys that. How I do it anyways. There's a lot of ways to do gel marbling. I literally made this set up as I went. <laughs> when clients say just freestyle, it's kind of hard because when you start working, you kind of think, 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 and then there, yeah, okay, I'll do this, I'll do that, I'll do this. But stick within your bounds, like, you know, make sure the set is structured so it's not too crazy. I see a lot of people, they, they consider freestyle like a buffet, they just like grab everything. <laughs> It's not that way, guys. I'm sorry. When the client says freestyle, she's not mean, you know, throw everything on there. As much as you want it, it's not how it works. Make sure your set's cohesive. The colors go well together. I'm just gonna use my medium bit this time. A medium five and one just because I just got a little bit more more bulkness than I'm used to and let's do some cuticle work huh this is uh this is the non safety this is the sharp you see how it's sharp I'm able to go really into the cuticle area there. The safety will be rounded off a little bit more. It still works good. It's just that you won't have any ch less chance of you cutting the client. And then I bust up my medium because I know that I do have a little bit of thickness I want to break down. So my medium will be able to do that job easier for me. This is already smooth. It's going to smooth it out a little bit. See that? I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just going up and down. Just smooth it out a little bit. My main focus right here is to do these cuticle areas. Um, actually, this is where your lips come from. If you guys have greenies or something like that from your clients, it's more than likely because you guys are not sealing this cuticle in, so it starts to lift. Water will get underneath. And especially when it's gel polish or color powder, you can't really see the lift. So the client doesn't know, so the water will sit under there. And it will cause moisture because, you know, when water gets trapped under the nail like that, there's no way it's going to dry, even if they dry their hands. And I'll be able to, when moisture bacteria will grow and your nails will start getting a little bit green. And that's what we call a greenie, not a fungus, a greenie. Everybody confuses the two. Now people say, oh, why don't you just buff that? I can, but. If I can cut down a lot of work for myself later, with a buffer too, then I'll do it with this. Okay? Is it hot? Is it too hot? Oh, you're falling asleep. <laughs> oh my God. That's, I was wondering what's wrong with you. I'm like, you're over here falling asleep. Child. You know I'll cut you, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> this is sharp. I was like, why are you pulling away from me? The only reason is you, you want to get cut. No. 
Don't do that. Yeah, man, all my tools are sharp, but I run it fast. These are gorge. I'm gonna hang them up. Hmm? I'm up. You up? Mm-hmm. You can sleep too. I, I'll just, I'll, re I'll give you a reminder. So I'm gonna break down the bulk a little bit in this nail, though. This nail is gonna come through. When I'm finished with this nail right here, the middle finger, it's gonna look so nice. But it requires layers, this nail. Oh my drill. Why is it vibrating? I feel like it has something in it. Give me one second, guys. Oh! No, did my drill just? <gasps> hmm? Mm -hmm. One of the bit had a bit of acrylic on it and it got stuck in there. Now the mechanism is sealed in. Oh my lord, guys! Technical difficulty. There it is. No, not my favorite. There it goes. Oh my God, it scared me. Got a little bit of acrylic in there, so it's sealed in that little spot. Oh, this is a $300 drill. So now I'm gonna go here, go work. It's making sounds. Don't tell me I have to time to retire my drill already. Kind of like to break down this area a little bit more. That's where we clear and cap earlier from the ombre. Just gonna go to the side. Drill down, don't say that. <laughs> drill down in the middle of a set? Yeah. I got at least, I got two spares, so I always keep a spare in my um in my studio. Or in my salon. I can just go grab one from one of my staff. So this one's a medium, so it definitely gives me the ability to break down the, the acrylic a little bit easier. I want myself a little, I don't know why, but this is so blurry. There you go. So I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more right here in this cuticle. It's too thick here. I want more transition from the cuticle outward. I don't want too much of a bump there. That should be good. It might not seem like it's, it matters, but when you're doing designs on top of the acrylic afterwards, it does matter. A nice smooth transition will be able to give you a bit of the polish and put the design in there without having it bulk up. Okay, she said drill down the middle of a set, everybody's worst nightmare. Yes, it is. No, it is. I take this drill with me everywhere I go. When I teach, so I guess 
Eventually it's gonna get so beat down from trailing and luggage and such. Really, this length is about a long to me, long to, to XL. Not an XL per se yet, but it is it is pretty long. Um, about two weeks of growth, we'll put it in the XL range. I just like a nice moderate um, apex with this. I don't really want it too crazy. I don't want it too crazy, too crazy thick with the apex. Because the shorter the nail, the bigger the apex, the less, it, Aesthetically pleasing it looks. Oof, nice. I recover well. Earlier in my application, I had a struggle with because of my AC, but I think I did a good recovery. I went to show you guys the pixie though. There we go. One hand down. I hope I'm under an hour in this set though. Before design. That's like my my main goal. try to sit under an hour no matter what I do before design like buff wash hands sharp up and down motion right here only can be achievable with this type of drill bit if you try to do this with a vertical cut bit it'll just eat into it and it'll cause uh, a little bit of ridges the way this bit is made is, is circular it's a spiral so i can go up and down and it just smooves it out you can see i don't have to run into any issues with that 
So be careful when you're using a, a drill bit. It, sometimes you feel like, oh, why am I eating so much acrylic into it? Some drill bits are made a certain way where like, if you work it a certain direction, it actually eats more acrylic in. So we gotta be careful with that. Something is loose in this. Oh, I see that. You see why? That's why. <laughs> This thing came loose this one. Oh, there you go, baby. <laughs> Y'all see what happened there? This thing came loose right here and I was supposed to seal it back in, but I screwed it back in. Oh, there you go. You see that sound difference? I was wondering what's going on. I'm not gonna lie. I, I literally had a sigh of relief there. So I was sitting here this whole time thinking, damn it, I gotta buy a new drill. But this drill is definitely one of the best ones on the market, medical. Rarely it breaks. I haven't, I haven't had it break on me yet, ever. Oh, yes. A lot of technical difficulties during this live. So that means the set better come out fire as hell. I don't even know. I was just like, oh, sigh of relief. Oh man, look at this thing go now. It's got a whole new machine. So after this, I'm gonna use a sanding band. I'm gonna go underneath the nail, clean up any of the side walls. If I had any powder overflow, which I probably did because of earlier application. Um, definitely check underneath also guys any powder that's under there should be taken care of you don't want to leave it there it takes away from the shape the aesthetics underneath doesn't even do anything because the way the drill is made is made for that all that does is smooth all that did was smooth out your your hand filing a little bit over there and it didn't eat into the acrylic and it kept it nice and smooth you didn't you didn't see it bounce or skip because this, this is a cross cut five and one How smooth that is. Okay, let me go underneath. It's gonna take a nice one of these and just. This from earlier. I knew I had some right here, so.
Okay. Let's check the shape one last time. Make sure everything is the way we want it. Let's run it through just a few strokes. Crisp out the corners before we buff and go into the final step with designing. I'm doing some swirl designs with glitter, with a glitter effect. And remember I, I drilled the underneath here, so I gotta make sure I even everything back up, okay? What bit is what? I just want to say what bit is that? Um, it was just a like a pointed bit that goes underneath and cleans out like any like powder that you have like maybe dripped over and underneath. I like to clean up underneath, so it's just like a pointed bit. You can get them anywhere pretty much. Amazon. It's pretty self-explanatory when you see the picture. The one I was using was a medium sharp five and one bit from my own shop. This is the thing. You see, I know this middle finger is bigger than this finger, but I'm still gonna try to bring it down as much as possible to make sure that they're generally the same length. A lot of you guys are leaving it wider. Don't do that. You can bring it in just a little bit, okay? And make it less wide. It just matches more. But yes, the middle finger is gonna be bigger, but does that mean that it should be that, that big of a difference, okay? Let's bring the sides in right here a little bit. Give our lovely hand a nice buff, the finishing buff. And if you ever do stiletto design nails, it should not be shorter than your other nails, okay? See, like, it should be on the same length or a little, little bit longer just because of the tip. Don't do it the same length, please. I see a lot of it. When people do stiletto design, like uh, accent nails, and they're tiny compared to everything else. It just it doesn't look right. Okay, wash your hands. I'm gonna prepare for my designs, which requires me to get blooming gel out. I've never seen one. Let me see, let me see. Someone say something. I've never seen one that long. Oh. This should be all that length, to be honest. I'm gonna use this blue gel polish with white and some black. I already just did one before, so. I'm gonna add black. Maybe just add white and blue this time around. I'm gonna gel marbling in that. Then I'm gonna use this glitter again to do some swirl designs. Got some builder gel. Where are my pixie baits? Got me some pixie beads. And I'm gonna put it right in there. 
Oh man, that's a lot I gotta do. Shit. <laughs> Of steps in this design. First things first, let's get the gel marbling out of the way. On that nude finger. This thing is so pretty. Hmm? So pretty. I love the color. Love the color combo? Mm -hmm. See? It's not too much. So I will use. Wave gels, evolution, clear. Hold on, this is not focus or something. Evolution clear. I'll take the polish out. I love doing blue waves, guys. They're, they're probably the most fun to do. Hello, new here. Watch some of your videos. Love them. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna mix this up. Real quick, I'll apply. First, I gotta get my ombre flat brush out. Clean this real quick. Mm -hmm. Finally, AC is running again. Golly. That's what I was looking for right there. This is my ombre brush. It's nice and long. Gives me able to pick up the gel. Apply the evolution gel. I'm gonna do a two-tone, which just means I'm gonna connect this wave here with this. This nice thin coat of Evolution Gel. Don't care. Camera's not focused. I'm satisfied with the bloomy. Go ahead and cure. Yeah. Is it because it's too close?
thing. And that will cure at that. So for this one, Our paint. Take my white gel art paint here. Give myself some veins. Okay, see how many brushes you have to go through, different type of brushes, just to, you know, do these designs. It's not easy, right? It ain't supposed to be easy, man. <laughs> People think it's just the designs very quick and easy. No, it's not. Some of these designs require a lot of techniques, a lot of steps and processes and stuff like that. I use a total of three different type of brushes <laughs> for this design alone. Okay. First things first, we're gonna top coat everything. And then we're gonna do the last step of the design after we top coat. This is my no wipe top coat. It's very nice. Money back guarantee. If you don't like it, send it back. Top coat's pretty badass. Nice medium consistency. You won't have to worry about it running over the nail.
So the theme of the set is gonna be wavy. Let's see if we can bring out. Careful with the stilettos, just wet the sides a little bit, give you a little bit of point. Look at that frosted look, I love that. Comes through when we finish the set. show this blue some love switch get a little bit of white gel polish out use my detailer brush
sprinkle some of this on here. Ideally, the, the glitter should adhere to this um, gel and cure very nicely. And keep that glitter texture. I'm just doing just random sporadic swirl effects and designs and stuff like that. So the glitter will absorb. You have to use gel polish for this. And ideally when you go like this, the glitter will transfer over. Giving that texture glitter look. tools so once you're done with that it's cured it's, it's good to go you don't have to do anything to that it's just cured right on top and with some cuticle oil god knows we need it <laughs> 